Hello guys, now in this video, let's discuss the topic of a contraception. Guys, contraceptive methods are mainly classified into two groups. What are they? Temporary contraceptive methods and permanent contraceptive methods. Now, let's start with the temporary contraceptive methods. Under temporary contraceptive methods, there are many subgroups. Now, in this video, let's mainly concentrate on natural methods of a contraception which means the male and female they are not using any artificial means of contraception they are not using something which is artificial naturally they are uh, participating with certain techniques to avoid pregnancy okay they are following certain procedures naturally to avoid pregnancy in the female so without any further ado let's start our lecture Guys, the first naturally family planning method for the contraception is rhythm method. See, this rhythm method is also known as calendar method. According to this, ovum is going to be ovulated on 14 plus or minus 2 days. So, usually day 12 to day 16 there is ovulation and a sperm can be viable up to 72 hours okay so a sperm can be a viable up to a 72 hours that is three days so according to this days 8 to 18 okay days 8 to 18 these days are considered as unsafe days what does i mean by see if the female participate in intercourse in this duration there is lots of chances that the ovum can be fertilized and she can get the pregnancy so these days are avoided for the intercourse but do you know something when a couple are following this rule there is lots of failure rate almost 25 to 35 percent that this technique can go wrong so now doctors they have advised not to participate in sex from the days 7 to 21 why why because if the female and the male if they are not participating in the intercourse in this period from day 7 to 21 the failure rates are much lesser the failure rates came to 10 percent but whenever they are not participating in intercourse activity from the day 8 to 18 almost it is 25 to 35 and one important point i want you to remember which days are considered as unsafe days guys unsafe days are 8 to 18 but the chances of failure are very very high so now day 7 to 21 of the menstrual cycle are considered as safe days okay now so sex is admitted or sex is allowed to happen in the first seven days and in the last seven days okay so for almost half of the month there is no sexual activity so this is called as programmed sex okay so sex is safe in the first seven days and last seven days but from the 7 to 21 days it is unsafe now let's continue now, what are the drawbacks of this method guys see it is very difficult to predict the safe days okay to calculate these safe days the partners should be highly educated they should be highly motivated okay they have to motivate themselves not to indulge in any kind of sexual activity from 7 to 21 days or so on so particular days so it needs a lots of motivation lots of responsibility so this is a drawback now couple yeah we have already seen that couples should be educated and motivated and it is very difficult to predict the periods are like you no know, it is very difficult to predict the safe period okay why because in you know not all in all the females okay uh, these periods are uh, going to be a uh, same what does i mean by period the safe period okay so this safe period is not going to be the constant in all the females it, it may vary okay now 
So nearly half of the month, the couple is restricted from having sex. So they are having the sexual activity just like a robots. It's a program thing. Okay, in these days you are not supposed to do. Only in these days you are allowed to participate in sex. So this is called as program sex. Okay, so it's also a disadvantage. After this, now let's see some more other natural contraceptive methods. Okay, see usually these are not that preferred. But for the exams you should know. Okay, now cervical mucus method or Billings method, they will ask you. Cervical mucus method is also known as Billings method or in Billings method of natural contraception, what is taken guys, what is taken uh, as a criteria, it's a cervical mucus. Okay, according to the cervical mucus consistency, the female should have to know when she is ovulating. Okay, see the cervical mucus will have a different different uh, consistencies with a different different time periods so a female should have to regularly check her cervical mucus consistency so in those particular days whenever she is feeling ovulating so she have to avoid sex between that period okay before that and after that period she is not supposed to indulge in sex do you think this is that easy no all females are not educated so they cannot easily identify the cervical mucus consistency okay the one important point i want you to remember that uh, during ovulation and even just before ovulation just before ovulation the cervical mucus consistency is just like a egg white it's so clear and, and it's like you know uh, it's very very stretchy okay that's the one point i want you to remember and they will ask you in the exams that billings method of contraception is an example of natural method Okay, it's a natural family planning method. Now, basal body temperature method. What does it mean by basal body temperature method? See, usually during the time of ovulation, there is increase in the basal body temperature by almost 1 degree centigrade. Okay, 0 0.5 to 1 degree centigrade, the body temperature will raise. So, a female should not participate in intercourse from day 1 till she feels like, you know, there is a raise in the body temperature of 1 degree centigrade so she should uh, take okay every day she should take the basal body temperature so accordingly she have to participate in sex so from day one she is not participating so on day 14 like there is increase in the basal body temperature by 1 degree centigrade so after day 14 for the next two three days she is not going to participate in the intercourse after that she is allowed for the sexual activity so if she is controlling her sexual activity based on her basal body temperature then this is known as basal body temperature method. After that, there is one more method of natural contraception, which is just a combination of things. It's not something new. It's just a combination of things which you already knew. What is that? See, symptothermic method. Here, you are checking the cervical mucus consistency along with a basal body temperature. See, these two criteria are taken into account then it is known as symptothermic method where you are taking two criteria into account okay now following that let's discuss about the lactational amenorrhea what does it mean by lactational amenorrhea guys after the delivery of the baby the mother is going to lactate okay she is giving the milk to the baby guys please concentrate that whenever the mother is lactating her child there is more levels of prolactin there is more levels of pro lactin in her blood see this prolactin will give negative feedback to gnrh so what happened gnrh levels goes down so whenever there is no gnrh fsh levels and lh levels goes down so that there is lactational amenorrhea why because there is no fsh there is no lh whenever there is no fsh there is no folliculogenesis whenever there is no lh there is no ovulation that can lead to amenorrhea in female so in this period if she participate in intercourse can she become pregnant absolutely not why because she is not ovulating okay so this is a lactational amenorrhea if she if she is lactating her child, for example, see, if she want to have a natural method of contraception, she should lactate her child for longer duration. Longer duration of lactation means longer duration of high prolactin in her blood. So, till the time there is high prolactin, she will be having lactational amenorrhea. So, that's a natural method of contraception. 
Now, final thing is coitus interruptus. In the name itself, it's very clear. Coitus is there. Naturally, the partners, they are indulging themselves in the sexual activity. But a male can know when he is ejaculating. So, just before his ejaculation, he is just taking out his male organ and ejaculating outside the female body. So, this is also a natural method of a contraception. Okay, guys, uh, in this video, I have discussed some important methods of natural contraception. In the next coming video, we will discuss some other temporary methods of contraceptions which follows a barrier method, oral contraceptive pills, progesterone only pills, progesterone implants, progesterone injection, intrauterine devices. Okay, let's go one by one. Thank you.